Hi, everybody. How are you today? So today, I want to take this in the direction that things are going, which is that it is very raw. It's very emotional for a lot of people. A lot of people are struggling to find peace. And they're focusing a lot on what's happening around. And the main thing is, is that you can't, we're not living in the old paradigm anymore. There are things that are going to continue to happen because there is a lot of deep stuff. It goes and runs deep. It's gone, gone on for centuries and millennia. And me and Michelle are going to talk about this to you because we are seeing this personally up front, up close and personal in our own lives. And we've been through it personally, but not at this time. We are in a time where this is really raw and it is throwing people really off balance. And whether you call it mental health, we're calling it ancestral DNA, energetic DNA, deep parts of the psyche. And, you know, we're going to take it away here. So, yeah, Michelle and I have been talking, right, Michelle? This is Michelle. Oh, yeah. She is... Uh, one of the practitioners who can help you. But we want to tell you, like, how does this look and how does it show up and how do you know that there is something to do about this, right? So anything and everything will be used to trigger things up and out of you. If it's not you, it's going to happen around you and it will happen to you at some point. You will get triggered, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. There is nowhere to shove this anymore. Can't stick it down into your gut. What happens? We purge it. We vomit it out, or we hate, we literally get, get rid of that one way or another. But your tissues still need healing. You still need the new parts of you. There's a lot of deep stuff. There's deep family stuff. There's deep human family stuff. So... What are you seeing on your end, Michelle? You know, there's... When you think that everything is all quiet on the Western Front, something happens with your family. I know it's happening to me and my family. Um, one member of my family who I love dearly, she is really struggling with ancestral DNA right now. And it's coming in the forms of addiction to medications. It's coming to addictions to sugar. It's coming to addictions to caffeine. And also looking like narcissism. I wouldn't want to call her a narcissist by any means, but she's acting like one. She yeah. has alienated her family but she's taking it like they have made her, pushed her out, but she's actually pushed them away. Um, and it's all about boundaries. It's all about the boundaries of land. It's all about finances. It's all about greed. And, and really skewed thinking about just being selfish. And, and hurting people around her, but not acknowledging it. Now, this goes deep. Ancestral DNA goes back since the beginning of time. So how long are we carrying around this? Yes, centuries, say, uh, millennia. Thwarted, millennia. Thwarted, yeah, thwarted energetic DNA that's deep in you. There's, it's, it's coded. It's a code that's within your body. And it has to come up and out. My sister is also a very ascended human, potentially. She's a twin flame as well. She doesn't yeah. know it. She doesn't believe it, actually. She has no idea what I talk about when I talk about these things. So I've stopped talking about it with her verbally. The key to discussing these things is through the energetic light body. And how you access that key is through the body work specific body work not going to the gym and punching bags or not doing yoga this is energetic dna energy light body um, body work that you do for yourself yeah by yourself you've done it i've done it, it. yeah, yeah. i learned it, it 
and I formatted it. But if we get back to some of this uh, deep, painful stuff, mm -hmm. you can keep fighting about it. So I'm going to say this in a general way to a lot of people. You can keep fighting. We have to stop treating this like a crisis. We have to stop treating mental health like a crisis and addiction yeah. like a crisis. We have to get to the point where the minute we're noticing it, we get into action and start doing the energy work it takes. It's energy healing, energy integration, 5D connections. Those three things alchemize the new level of you. But this deep emotion, what do you do with it if you get triggered? Because I had stuff with my family too. My brother, my brother has had it with my mom. And he is dredging up every single thing from childhood. And he's like, I don't care if I ever want to see that person again. And I, I mean, I've had the same things. I'm like, listen, I'm not here to take this or that. But what is our part in this? We have these root connections. These have been our people that we decided to incarnate into, that we decided to incarnate with. In a lot of ways, we are either, we're repeating the karma and the insanity, or we're getting up and off that karmic train and we are doing what it takes. And this is what it takes. This is what it takes. And you don't have to be brought. So let's say you're worried about someone. Are you worried about yourself? And I'm saying this in a general way to the people watching this. You have to put yourself first. Because if you're not taking care of yourself, your triggers, catching your triggers, your own emotional regulation. I know people with kids in colleges. Those colleges are getting triggered big time. Everyone's triggered. That's not the only thing that's happening. There's little hot pockets all over the world where there's things happening because people have had it. Okay, the pushback is happening. How do you deal with the pushback? Well, you're not going to deal with it with pushing back or retaliating or pettiness or resorting to violence, vandalism, burning things. I mean, that just repeats the insanity. We have to help people breathe it in, breathe it out properly using their new light body, not just doing yoga breath like this. Okay. That's not going to cut it. You're working with an area that's this big. You need to work with your brand new light body. We need to get that open on people. That is the number one objective of my initial classes that Michelle and I are teaching people how to do that. Do you know what it works like? What does it feel like to you, Michelle? To me, it feels like a space helmet. <laughs> me, it feels like one of those thunder blankets, you know, that you put on your animal and those heavy blankets to keep you. It yeah. feels like that to me. It feels like one of those heavy sort of weighted blankets, but it's comfort. It's like, okay, just stay... Yeah, it's tangible. No, don't but it's be definitely not yeah. heavy like a no. weighted blanket. No, no, it's it's not. It's, it's just that that feeling of being surrounded, enveloped in just fluidity and serenity. You yeah. know, and it, it's true. It's like being non-reactive and having that ability to disengage, unplug from the point where you're at in this three D realm and not engaging in it but just also now being able to take in and translate and understand the silence and the um what to do and how to not only cope but succeed with the outcome there's no written timeline because if you're not able to do it now, do you have people in your life? And like I do, I have people in my life that are feeling really like, wow, this is crazy. I want to escape. I want to get out. Um, I felt it last week, waving through the collective, like, let's just get messed up. Let's get drunk. Let's do some drugs. Don't, that's not really the answer. I don't care how medically necessary people tell me it is. At some point, your light body needs to take over, period. Your brand new light body of an infusion of 5D love needs to take over. And people need to hear this. This is new, but it's actually not new because ancient cultures, a lot of these ancient cultures that are now having all the crap come up and it's coming out through people and people are vomiting it out all over the place. It's time. It's time for this. We planned for this. 
We plan to be new and to release the old stuff, whatever we want to call it, ancestral patterns. I like to call it patterns. I don't give into like the robotic things people talk about where they call it the matrix and, you know, programming and stuff like that. I mean, people are here to heal that stuff. They're really here to heal the addictions. You left out cigarettes and you, you oh, know, yeah, 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 that yeah, is yeah. like the bane. I have had at least five people <laughs> lately where those cigarettes are bringing them from irritability. They're losing their personality into some mild psychosis and psychotic episode. They're hearing voices. They're getting a little paranoid. Who would ever think cigarettes could do that? But the kicker is you may not know what's in the past. That's what we see. And that's what we're here to alleviate and release pe from people. That is why from one week, starting right at the new moon to the end of that week, people feel different. Mm -hmm. They feel better. They see the results. That is the result of doing the work. The, this is a body thing. This isn't a mind thing that you're going to do with your ego mind and be like, you know, oh, well, those are scary people, us and them. We're getting rid of so many mentalities, it isn't even funny. And people need to work on this. Mob mentality, war mentality, all these things where you got to give it back to people and that is not going to work anymore. I, I'm going to say one other thing about all this chaos. It creates a lot of garbage. Happy Earth Day, happy Earth Day. What are we even doing? Like, is anyone really seeing this through and looking at the financial cost of this? You think mental health isn't costing? It's costing a lot. It costs a hell of a lot more than my one week class that we are offering here. <laughs> it costs a it. lot. <laughs> a trip to the mental uh, health for an emergency room visit here in the United States you're talking $2,000 right off the bat. Even if you have insurance, you are looking at, you're on the hook for that first $2,000 ticket. And you may or may not get that healed because the first thing they're going to do is tell you to calm yourself down and give you a sedative. That's going to suppress what needs to come out. We want this stuff out. And we got to start with you, people. You people are the ones who are, are the awakened, you're human angelics, you're feeling those like pushbacks. You're like, I got to be free. I got to be like, I got to spread my wings. Let us help you open those wings. No one else can do it for you. If someone says to you, I'll take that away from you. Warning. Yeah. Please be warned. Stop holding space you to do it for yourself. You're not in the fourth dimension anymore. You left the third no. dimension you're heading out of the fourth dimension. You better get your wings, your channels, your chakras ready. That's a body thing. You, Yeah, we will empower you. We will show you. We're not going to say we're going to do this for you. No. You're going to teach you how we're to do it. We're teaching you to fish. No. We're teaching fish you to fish. Puppy. <laughs> you know, yeah. there's an the expression, either do it or, you know, flounder around with it and you know, we don't want to see people do that. You want to know why? Go refer to my video on karmic draining and see what how this direction is. You got to get yourself up. You got to get yourself ascended. That initial awakening, that was a passive one. Your downloads, those are passive. We help you get those put to work for you on your behalf because it's happening to you because you have to be selfish. This is about the self. And you cannot help people unless you do this for yourself. This isn't working on yourself, like doing Sudoku and like making sure you have mental clarity. That's not going to cut it because there's a lot of elderly people that try that and they cannot prevent prevention of the genetic deterioration that exists in their DNA. We're here to help with that. There's a definite difference between pseudo assistance and oh, actually woke. authentic. I mean, who authentic. is no fake woke? <laughs> no, I know. It's like, what's all that jibber jabber? That all that just that soup that you get sort of sucked into, but don't don't drink that soup. <laughs> it's no good. <laughs> yeah. 
Come we empower want yourself. You how to live you. while you're ascending. So mm -hmm. as we go through the week, just a little description of the class, we are going to focus on breathing, getting your main 5D high heart channel opened. We will open for question and answers. Mm -hmm. We have um, also two movements planned to help you feel the etheric body and maybe more. We're going to see, you know, what do people really need help with? And we encourage you, please join because you're not going to get this anywhere. You're not going to get it really anywhere else. My program at this time is very unique because we are addressing all those needs, what to eat, how to breathe, how to move. There are water exercises that people don't even know about that I've created to help you with the other deeper parts of you, these deep parts. But unless you get the initial things open, we do primers to help you get that open and maintain it. So uh, another thing, we have a lot of fun in the class. I mean, people really start seeing kind of how this is supposed to go, how it really is. We joke, we laugh. Uh, just some of the things we talked we about do. in the last one. Um, childlike joy. When was the last time you experienced childlike joy? Being able to smell things. What what was you said this morning, Michelle? Audience. Um, I've, I've started, my, I'm always learning and I'm always getting new little pleasant surprises from my etheric and from the higher dimensions. And I was having a conversation with a friend on the, uh, we were just talking and all of a sudden I hear this with a with a wind coming like with a breeze come in i hear a man's voice speaking to me I'm speaking the language of light i'm not quite fluent there yet i don't even know if i have to be but it was the tone and the feeling of the voice that really it made me stop and like i wanted to say excuse me <laughs> you know <laughs> excuse me i have to i have a message coming in it's real it's tangible and it it's a gift. Come see what your presence are. And not only presence, but present, presence, receiving presence, gifts. The future is a gift. Come receive it. Yeah. All of these things, you're deep in your intuition, deep in your discernment, open your gifts, open what is inherent to you and what you've brought in from past lives. You learn skills, you developed yourself. It's not just this life date, you're doing some self-improvement. So I think with that, um, you hit the nail on the head, Michelle, and we hope to see you there. Please look at the links below and you can choose from morning or you can choose from evening. So if you want to do this after work, you could do that. If you want to do it in the morning, you could do that. If you want to do it before you start your day, you can do that. Okay, so it's at two times to help you. And we hope to see you there. Reach out. Michelle does coaching. She does both of these things, which is twin flamey stuff and healing stuff. Okay. Let's just to put it loosely, get more information on my website at twinflamerinconnection.com. And we hope to hear from you and have a good day. And if you're not having a good day, you really need to join us. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Thank you. <laughs>